Welcome to VLab, or week 4 of VLab 2. If you're following along in your lab book, this is lab 8. Securing internet client and server applications on Windows systems. I'm already on the week 4 VLab 2 setup section. Here are the download the instructions. When you're ready to begin, click start assessment. Pay close attention to the, to the deliverables so that you know what you have to submit. When you're ready to begin, click on Access VLAB. I'm doing my VLABs in Chrome. I've seen that it works the best. Uh, you may get a Java or two pop-ups. Make sure to allow the Java uh, applets to run. That will allow the actual virtual infrastructure to uh, run. Now, again, prep time for this, it can take anywhere between a few minutes and several minutes, so be patient. Sometimes this can take 15 plus minutes. So again, just be patient. Okay, so now that our infrastructure has loaded, uh, part one is hardening an IIS web server. So let's go ahead and open our target Windows 01 RDP session. So this is going to be either through uh, software means or through actually uh, individual user means. But one way or another, we're going to be adding items to help, or I uh, either adding or removing items to help harden our IIS server. Because again, the big thing here is you have to pay attention to how much attack service you're giving people. Because by turning on additional services, you're giving them more attack space or more space to attack. And if you don't need to, then you need to not be doing that. Uh, if the services are required, that's one thing. So just something to keep in mind. So go ahead and close everything that pops up. And let's go ahead and open up Server Manager. We're going to be adding in an additional role. To add roles and features. Oh, I'm trying to go too fast for this, so be patient. Okay, everything should be loaded now. Add roles and features. On the first page, you will always get this. Just go and ignore it. We want role-based, and that's okay. We're going to be installing it with our Target Windows 2012 DC. That's fine. Notice that IIS is not checked. So we're going to go ahead and install IIS and all required features. Uh, I have noticed that just got to give it a second. If you try to go too fast, sometimes the lab kind of lags. So go and click on Next. Do we need to install any additional features? Double check to make sure uh, the features that we're installing. So yeah, go scroll through them just to make sure. For us, we're just doing a default installation, so just next. Make sure that we are installing all the tools. So this is an important one. Make sure that you know what tools you're installing. We're installing the IS Management Console, if that's correct. Next, and click Install. The installation shouldn't take very long, but you never know. I'm going to pause this while it goes to install. Okay, so that didn't take too terribly long. So once you're done, go ahead and close it. And now let's go ahead and open it. So if we navigate to Tools, you should see now that we have an IIS Manager or Internet Information Services Manager. Let's go and open that. 
First thing that you'll notice is that when it pops up, you're going to notice that it has our current server, tar win 2012 dc So let's go ahead and click on the arrow next to it. That should expand it. You may get a pop-up about getting started with the latest web platform. For this, we're not really worried, we, uh, worried about it, so let's just go ahead and cancel out of it. What we want to do is, let's go ahead and double click directory browsing. It's alphabetical, so it should be directory, so D. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is disabled. You can double click on it and you should see a disable. One important thing to note when dealing with uh, IIS, after every change, you have to restart. Let's go ahead and look at our logging. Our logging right now is site W3C, that's all fine. It wants us to actually change our logging and instead of system root inet pub log files, it actually wants you to change that to this PC local drive IPUB logs. Click OK. Granted they are the same location, but <clears throat> it actually wanted you to change the system root to C drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, and apply this setting. So apply. It's a good habit with IIS just to restart our web server. Okay, so I'm looking at step 27, it says open up Internet Explorer and go to not what I wanted, HTTP technet.microsoft.com forward slash e in US forward slash Y forward slash J J six three five eight five five dot A S P X And if I didn't fat finger anything this should be a article with IIS best practices. Okay, so with inside of our virtual infrastructure, you cannot go to that website. So I went ahead, I already went to it in Chrome. Part of your lab is to select four configuration changes that will help you achieve CIA with Server 2012. Go ahead and describe what they are and go ahead and do them. And actually, that is the end of part one. Next, we'll be hardening Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and go back to our virtual in in environment and close out of everything. So we are just at our desktop. All right, part of this uh, first steps in part two is close out of everything. So that we're sitting back on our virtual desktop so let's go and close out of our RDP folder. And let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Start Internet Explorer. We're going to look for Internet Options. You can do that a number of ways. You can click on the gears, Internet Options, or you can hit the Alt button go to tools and internet options doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you get there we're looking at the securities tab we actually want to change our security to the highest possible level for our internet zone 
So that means for our internet zone, it's going to be the highest security. So let's go to our trusted sites, because each one of these are different types of zones, and you can set specific uh, security requirements for them. Like trusted sites are still at medium. Let's go ahead and add another site to it. Let's go ahead and add Google. Helps if I click in the box to type. HTTPS colon slash slash google.com. If that is there, it's required that they be HTTPS. If you uncheck that, you can remove the HTTPS. So now Google is added to our trusted site. Now let's go ahead and click on our privacy. This is going to be the privacy settings, things like cookies and whatnot. Let's go ahead and click on advanced. We have the option to see what we want to do for cookies. First party or second party, kind of just depends. So let's go ahead and override automatic cookies. And let's, I want to be prompted for both first party and third party cookies. That way, they will prompt us for everything. Which I mean is good, but at the same time eventually will get very uh, annoying quickly. Click OK to that. Next let's go to our advanced tab. We want to find interna uh, international options. Right, international and we want to always show encoded addresses that's going to be our first option this allows us to prevent international domain name spoofing because domain names they don't always have to be uh, local they could be international so that's one of those important things Okay, so that's actually it. The lab actually requests that you try to secure your own favorite web browser. I'm not going to do that, but that's just additional research. So thank you and have a great day.